Hello everybody and welcome to my new series on Strictly Come Dancing. It started again tonight with the pairing up of the dancers and in this series we're going to chat about the dresses, the dancers and of course the drama. Opening this year's Strictly 2019 was the one and only Kylie Minogue, who I'm pretty sure has actually stopped ageing. She looked amazing. She sung a medley of her hits whilst dancing with the Strictly professionals, who all looked great. I am so glad it's back. I can't wait till it gets started properly. We also met Motsi Babuse, the new judge and sister of Strictly's long-standing professional, Oti Mabuse. She has been a judge on the German version of Strictly and is a professional dancer in her own right. To be honest, I did want Anton to be the new judge, but if Motsi is anything like Oti, we are in for a treat. Shirley debuted shorter hair and Craig and Bruno looked their normal smart and sassy or smart and grumpy depending selves. I'm pretty sure you can guess which way round that goes. The show started outside but soon went into the Strictly studio where we were introduced to this year's Strictly stars. First of our 2019 cast to be paired was Catherine Tisley who played Eva Price in Coronation Street for seven years. She was partnered up with one of last year's backing dancers, Johannes, who had his full first time full dance partner. I think these two could be good. Next up was social media star Saffron Barker, who has 2 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. She was partnered with AJ, and these two, I think, are the youngest, as it was revealed that Saffron was only four years old when Strictly first aired in 2004. Ouch, that makes me feel old. Next up was the fear Michelle Visage, a judge from RuPaul's Drag Race. I love Michelle. She seems fierce. I think she's going to be a great personality to watch. She was partnered with Giovanni Panucci and she said that that was a mix between a New York Italian paired with just an Italian Italian, which was funny. It made me laugh. Last of the first set of girls was ex-Arsenal and England football player turned presenter Alex Scott, who looked stunning in a canary yellow dress. She was so excited to begin being glammed after having lived in tracksuits for most of her life. She was paired up with Neil Jones, the other male dancer, whose first year it is to have his own partner. That was the first of the girls to be met paired up. Next, the judges did a dance with the professionals and can I just say, these guys have still got it. Next up to be paired was James Cracknell, who seemed very nervous but was partnered with the gorgeous Luba. Kareem, who is a CBeebies presenter, I think he's going to be great. He said he's competitive and he just seems full of energy. He was partnered with Amy Dowden. And after that was Chris Ramsey, the comedian, who almost straight away said he doesn't like to be seen dancing. Which might be a bit of a problem, Chris. He was paired up with Karen Hauer, who debuted a very short haircut, which, to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about, but there you go. Last of the first set of boys was former England goalkeeper David James, who then said he was a granddad, which is crazy. He does not look like a granddad at all. He was partnered with Nadia Bishkova. That was the first eight celebs and their partners paired up, and there was their music by the amazing Yabba and Mark Ronson. I love her song called Don't Leave Me Lonely. She's a bit like Adele. After their performance, Emma Barton, who played Honey Mitchell in EastEnders, was partnered up with a very, very excited and happy Anton Dubeck, who was thanking anyone and everyone, and even apologised for his overexcited reaction, but said that, as people know, he has had more jokey acts in the past. Next up was Viscountess. Yes, you did hear me right. Viscountess Emma Weymouth, who was revealed to be partnered with Aliash, who she said doesn't have to curtsy when he sees her, but he did seem keen to learn. Last of the girls to be partnered was Annika Rice, who looks amazing. She was partnered with last year's champion Kevin Clifton. Kevin and his partner, partner now, Stacey Dooley, came back to perform the Paso Dooley, which is one of my favourite dances of theirs, and they were still amazing. The last celebs to be matched up were Mike Bushell, who was a BBC breakfast presenter, who was very excited to be partnered with Katia Jones. Will Bailey, who was a Paralympic table tennis champion who has a rare joint disease, said he never thought he would be dancing. And he was partnered up with Jeanette Manrara. Dev Griffin, a Radio 1 presenter who has three sisters and who apparently make fun of him because he's had one dance move since he was five, was partnered with Diane Buswell. So hopefully he will have at least two dances soon. And the last person to be matched was made in Chelsea's Jamie Lang. He was matched with the one and only OT. However, when the celebs and professionals did their first ever dance together, Jamie felt a pop and hurt his foot. 
So he's now been ruled out of the show completely as he has to be in a cast for eight weeks. What that means for OT, whether she will be getting another dance partner, who knows? <laughs> Well, that question has been answered. In breaking news, this morning it was announced that Kelvin Fletcher from Emmerdale will be replacing Jamie Lang and therefore partnered with OT. So there you have it, folks. Strictly 2019 is off and waltzing. Saturday nights will never be the same again. They will be filled with fake tans, sequins, and hopefully some amazing dancers. So if you like all things sequins, shimmies, and maybe, dare I say, a little bit of the curse, stick around, and I will be doing this every week. If you could like and subscribe, I can't wait. See you next week.